What's up all you dad hustlers out there? Welcome back to another episode of Dad Hustle. Today we're discussing the single greatest question you can ask your loved one. What can I do for you? sound like a stupid common sense thing to ask and it kind of is. When you're married, the less often people ask that question, is there anything I can do for you? It's amazing when you take the time to string those words together, what a difference it makes, how they appreciate that you're appreciating them. On a previous episode, you already heard my wife's number one question she wants to hear every day. Carla, can I give you a two hour foot rub today? Seriously, the woman is kind of addicted. But I'll do that. In fact, I'll surprise her sometimes and I'll just say, hey babe, give me your feet. Let me give you a massage. I get it. Feet can be nasty. Hers aren't bad. Or you may even have a foot fetish. And that's all you're about. <laughs> and if that's you, like, no judgments here. Okay, no judgments. Whatever it is, find simple things that you can do for your spouse to show them that you appreciate and love them. Here's an example of what my kids and I did on Mother's Day. It's not so easy recording with these goofballs, but we are going to make breakfast for mom. I'm Janae, that's my brother Elijah, and we're going to show you how to make bullseyes. So here we go first. We grab a piece of bread, like you see. Then we take a whole cutter, like... This one, for instance, not really actually a whole cutter, but it worked. And, um, good job, good job. Also, we also use that. You got to put it in the center if you want just right. So put the whole cutter in the center. Start twisting it and pushing it. Put in the bread. <laughs> Is that your on-camera presence? Or? Yes. Mm. It's a natural. Real quick, buddy. Crack that egg. Hurry up. <coughs> Think some of the shell fell in. <laughs> Let that out. Well, let me show you how a real master does it. She <laughs> went. <laughs> it didn't even make it in. <laughs> oh, that's. It didn't go in. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's oh, bad. Gosh. Here I go. Cut. Perfect. And the neat little thing you can do with these holes is put them in some cinnamon sugar and bake them. It's numptious. Okay. Here's the cool thing too. For all you dad hustlers out there, this is a quick and easy way to make a breakfast look special without much work. Especially when you got minions like me. Now be yourself. We are making French toast huh. and tiny. Yeah. French toast. <laughs> yeah. French toast. What are you doing, sweetie? We're making tiny French toast pieces. Ooh. Sounds fancy. Again, <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Let's see that again. <laughs> so now I think we're ready. It's time to go upstairs. Wake Mama up for Mother's Day. Hopefully this goes well. Let's roll. Superman. <laughs> Japan. Artwork brought to you by NakedCanvas.com. Bye, Elijah. Shh. It's so. Good morning. Good morning. Stop, sweetie. Hello. Wake up. Give, put it. Put the food down. Give her a kiss. Happy Wake Mother's up. Day. This is the FBI. <laughs> Wow, can you Wake imagine waking up. up to this? I'm tight. <laughs> this is the FBI. Are, are you wondering why I'm recording you? No. Are you wondering why I'm recording you? No. Yeah, why you're recording me. Because we brought you breakfast in bed. Oh. Hmm. She's not shocked. Cool. That's awesome. Don't wait for mom's day to dote on your wife. Trust me, if you want your marriage to work, it's got to be a regular thing. I haven't been perfect about this, but when I catch myself, I consciously make a decision to show her that I appreciate her. So give her some flowers. Take her out to lunch. I think one of the things that my wife loved the most is when I brought flowers up to her job. And I didn't just order them, have them delivered. I like walked them in, doo -doo -doo -doo, and everybody was like, oh, look at him. Oh my God, look at that guy with those flowers. Oh, no, that's so sweet. All the dudes were like, Man, you put us to shame, man. But like, you be putting us to shame. I'm like, yeah, I just do what I do. <laughs> you know, I just do what I do. Point is, golden rule: treat others as you want to be treated. 
pretty good thing to live by. Now, I've fallen into the trap before of thinking, well, if I do this on a regular basis, she's going to expect it. And then it becomes precedence, and then I'm screwed, royally screwed. Don't really even allow your mind to go there. That's stupid. It's only going to make your marriage happier, more blissful, fuller. As I do these things on a regular basis for my wife, she's a lot more giving and then says, hey, go out and pursue your passions. Go to the coffee shop and write. Hey, go to the game with the guys. Hey, go check out this. Whatever it is, she's cool with it because she knows that my affections are towards her. We all express love differently. And there's a great book that discusses this topic. It's called The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. It's a really solid read. And whether you're married or in a dating relationship or just like trying to get along with your mom, like any relationship has to deal with five distinct ways that people show love and affection to one another. The five ways are words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Like myself, I feel love the most through words of affirmation. My wife tells me, hey, you're doing an awesome job. You're a great provider. Hint, hint, comment <coughs> section. <coughs> When people tell me I'm awesome, I feel great. But my wife's love language is more acts of service. So me just telling her I feel she's awesome, it will only go so far. But me giving her that foot rub, no, that'll go a lot further. You know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't still be married if it wasn't for this book. Over the years, it's definitely helped me to be able to interact with my wife and express how I really feel about her. If you guys like what you heard today, hit that little subscribe button and then press that bell right next to it. That'll actually allow you to be notified every time I'm releasing new content. I put out new content every Wednesday and every Sunday. I'd love in the comment section if you put what you do to express love. My name is Will Crown and as always, I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle. Keep hustling, dads. You can't stop me! Oh, that's all you got?